Hey guys, Blue Delta Wolf here. This is Magic the Gathering 2014, and this is my Guardians of Light Promo Suite 60. So as you can see, I have 35 out of 35 cards, including 5 new promo cards. And I've made a brand new Suite 60, so it's a lot different to my last one. And I don't know how many of the promo cards I'm actually using, because I don't know what they are, to be honest. But uh, I made a brand new Suite 60 anyway. It's um, 60 cards, as always, 20 creatures, 18 other, and 22 land. This is the mana curve. Loads of twos, couple of nines, fours. So it's kind of uh, mid-game oriented. Um, you know, it's not a perfect mana curve, but it's all about enchantment, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, I have 22 lands as well. So let's start then. Uh, Life Link. It's a very simple enchant, and because a lot of cards give you features when you enchant, not just the enchant, I had to put this one in there. En Enchanted creature has Life Link. Four core spirit dancers. This is one of the best cards in the game to in act to actually put an enchant on. It gets plus two two for each enchant attached to it, and whenever you cast an aura spell, you may draw a card. So I put four of those in. Two of these simple cards. Th they've got life link. You know they're good early game. You can enchant them if you wish. These ones are not so strong. They're two for a three one, but again, if you enchant them, they're a bit beefier. Spirit Mantle. I was going to put two of these, but I actually put one of these and one of another card I'll show you in a minute. Enchanted Creature gets plus one one and has protection from creatures. Four Pacifisms. Sky Hunter Skirmisher. Great for a 3 one, one flying double strike. Great to enchant. Oromancer. You can, when you cast her, you can return enchantments from the graveyard to your hand. Two of them. I love Pariah. It's a great way of dealing with pesky creatures. Or put it on one of your own creatures if it has um, indestructibility on it. Enchanted creature, all damage that would be dealt is dealt to enchanted creature instead, so that's amazing. Griffin guide. 2-2 two, two with flying and when it dies you put a 2-2 two, two white griffin on the on the battlefield, that's why I like that one. Sarah's boon has two uses. On your own creatures it gets plus 1-2. On an enemy creature, or if it's not white, so you, if you're up against a white deck obviously put it on your own. It gets minus two, minus one. I put two of those in. Unquestioned Authority. This is the other one I put in instead of a second Spirit Mantle. Enchanted Creature. When Unquestioned Authority enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted Creature has protection from creatures. So it's the same, but instead of a 1-1, one, one, you draw a card. So I like that one. Dawn, Ele Dawn Elemental is amazing. Prevent all damage that would be dent. That's combat damage or spell damage. Ajani's Chosen. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a 2-2 white cat creature token onto the battlefield. If enchantment is an aura, you may attach it to the token. So I really like that one. This one is also amazing. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to Seraph of the Sword. So that's only combat damage, not all damage. So she can be burned. But still a great addition to the deck. Times 2. Healer of the Pride. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 2 life. Great sustain. This one's amazing. 4 for a 2-2, two, two, but whenever she attacks, you can tap a target creature. This is one of the best enchants in the deck. 4. Enchant creature for plus 4-4, four, four, flying first strike, and is an angel. But whenever the enchanted creature dies, return this to your hand. That's why I like it so much. Plus it's gorgeous to look at as well, so 2 of them. And this is probably the best enchant in the deck. Enchanted creature gets plus one one for each planes you control and has flying. Two of them. I have a showcase of this card. It's really amazing. For, the, for you doubters out there, you'll see why it's so good. Whenever you cast an enchantment, put a 4-4 four, four angel creature with flying onto the battlefield. And this one has an amazing um, animation. It's beautiful to look at. Plus it has one of the best effects I've ever seen. Whenever it's flying, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you can exile, target non-land permanent other than Admonition Angel. That doesn't have to be a creature. When she leaves the battlefield, return all exiled cards back to the battlefield under their owner's control. So you want to look after her. Aura Touched Mage. When this enters the battlefield, search your library for an aura card that could enchant it. If Aura Touched Mage is still on the battlefield, put it on the on the Aura Touch Mage. Otherwise, reveal the card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. So if it gets countered for any reason, you still get to keep the card. Also, this is another amazing enchant. Gorgeous animation. Enchanted creature gets 3-3, three, three, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, 
double its controller's life total. So you want to enchant this along with Spirit Mantle. Uh, you, you, you know, you just touch the enemy and your life total is doubled. You can get crazy amounts of life with that card. And True Conviction, amazing card. This is also in my showcase. Creatures you control have double strike and lifelink. So there's my sweet 60. I'm going to look for a card now. If I come across it, I may put it in. You'll see now in just a moment. Daybreak Coroner, it's a good card. It, it's a bit situational because you need to be enchanted with something before you can enchant this one. So I left it out. There are easier cards to use and better ones. This one is good as well. Put an aura card from a graveyard under your control attached to a creature you control. I mean, I could take out, for example, if I put that in now, I could take out one of those guys and I'm happily going to do that. <laughs> divine Favor. When Divine Favor enters, you gain 3 life and it's a 1-3. It's not a bad card. Um, it's difficult to take one out to put it in, really. I mean, the only other one I could think of taking out would be the lifelink one. Just have a double check now. I'm kind of building this as I go. I do really like this deck the way it is, but it is open to interpretation. I could perhaps take out a Sarah's Boon for Divine Favor. I'm not sure. No, I think it's good the way it is. So I'll leave that out there. Um, that's a good enchant, but there are better ones. This is a good creature, but I prefer the flyers. It, it's, I mean, you can go in your library, search an aura card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Okay, that's great. But then, if then I might be too late game heavy. Let's see if I've got any twos I could take out maybe for it. It's a difficult one to build, this guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Very, very difficult deck to build. No, I'm pretty happy with the way it is right now. I'm not going to change anything else. And then Dawnstrike Paladin. It's 5 for a 2-4. If it was 4 for a 2-4, I might consider it. It has Vigilance and Lifelink, so it's a good card. But I'm happy with the deck just the way it is. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, up to this point, I'll now show you the uh, showcase. Hey, guys. This is the showcase for Ajani's deck. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to lose one of my cards right now which is the one that creates angels so I'm gonna start the video here I was trying to build it up a little bit bigger but I want you guys to see it before it's destroyed sigil of the empty throne whenever you cast an enchantment put a 4-4 white angel creature token onto the battlefield now I love this card and it's been working really well I have 11 of them so far in fact I have 10 so there's a lot going on right now I have lots and lots of tokens loads of cat tokens a couple there uh, this one's enchanted with angelic destiny this one's enchanted with Armored Ascension. I've got my Angel out there, Seraph of the Sword. This one. I've got this guy enchanted with another Angelic Destiny. And this guy is actually enchanted with Lifelink, Griffin Guide, Armored Ascension and Celestial Mantle. Celestial Mantle is gorgeous by the way. Has an amazing animation on it. I love his animation cards. So, uh, the deck's running really, really smoothly. Um, actually, Chandra had me down to 5 health, and she was on 24 health. And she's gaining quite a lot of health every round, but I'm actually up to 343 now. So, yeah, I've been controlling the situation really, really well. So, I'm just going to keep playing for a little bit longer, show you guys what this deck's capable of. I have a feeling he's going to... Um, destroy that and just oh, actually that's not an artifact that's an enchantment so no we're safe we're actually safe at the moment so it's all good combat phase does he have a blocking flyer no I wish I could attack with that one to double my life total but I can't because I'll win so I actually can't right now I have to can only attack with uh, floor creatures that will do eight damage because it's protected from creatures and I'll attack with one more of my little cats just to destroy his 2 1. Up to 3 5 3 now. I've been doing this every turn, just clearing out his creatures. He's got 4 pacified at the moment, actually. All my 4 pacifisms are up. I'm down to 14 cards. She's down to 21. Oh, I forgot to tell you as well. True Conviction is up. All my creatures have Double Strike and Lifelink. 
I'll play down to 10 cards. Let's see how we go. I won't play too much longer. I really love this deck. It's amazing. I love enchantment decks. I love white and I love angels. So it's like a really, really strong deck for me. It's in my top three anyway. Maybe top four. Tough to choose between this one and Avacyn's Glory for my favourite white deck because they're both strong. Sarah's Boon. I mean, I could buff one of my own creatures or I could take his 5-4 down a bit. I'll just buff my own creature. Give myself another 4-4 four, four Angel. Draw two more cards. Oh, I finally have it. Admonish an Angel. Yes, let's draw another one. Okay. This card is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Look at the animation on that. So yeah, it's going really, really well so far. Let's attack with you. That will kill off the 5-4. And you will bring her down to 2 again, I think. Okay, last turn. Let's see what happens. And it was a land. Great, I get to see Admonish and Angel. Yeah, let's exile you. No problem. What a strong card, right? Amazing. <laughs> I'd love to see what my life total was. You've unlocked a new persona, Immortal. Very nice. Highest life total. It only registers 20. It won't go past 20 for some reason, guys. I think that's bugged. Oh well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. It really, really helps. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take it easy.